Welcome back to the Jesse Rosinski Show. Got a few things to hit today. Some big things. Might even get to the personal thing. There's something stupid that happened yesterday that I still can't understand. Doesn't make a lick of sense to me. Maybe it'll make a lick of sense to someone else. I don't know, but it doesn't make any sense to this guy. First, we're going to get back again. I know people are tired of hearing about it at this point. You have to be. Um, about the border. I know. I keep going over it, but you know, it keeps being a problem. And I don't know how more people don't have a problem with it. But I mean, right now they're spending at least, this is the bottom line, $60 million a week to house miners that are coming across the border. $60 million with an M, which does add up really, really quick. I mean, you know, two and a half months, you're already up to, you know, what, $600 million? a lot of money a lot of money that we don't have we're already at a deficit all the time like i keep saying like i don't know like a part of it is difficult to understand um maybe i think too clearly maybe i have too much common sense it doesn't seem to be a lot of common sense around anymore but like where are we getting all the money like we don't have the money we're already broke we have enough like hungry kids homeless people VA's garbage, suicide rate, infrastructure, which you know, some of what they're doing, yeah, yeah, infrastructure. But there are a lot of things, yeah, the deficit. People are going to have to pay back later after all these people are like, yeah, screw it, we'll just spend, 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 spend. After they're gone, and after I'm gone, we'll still be dealing with this. Like, and they're not even close to done yet. Like, believe it or not, people, inflation is real. It's very, very real. It's a super super real thing that man, good old inflation but you know like as of right now just what you know they're spending there we can flip that to the four or five billion you know, somewhere in that ballpark that was in the most you know recent bill put towards the homeless problem i covered it briefly the other day but at the rate they're spending you know money for just the binders coming across the border. It'll take 83.333, you know, infinite threes, forever three, 83 in the third days. And they'll, you know, hit what they're going to spend on the homeless problem altogether, just on migrant children. And I'm pretty sure right now we're past that, really, like in his time in office. So, um, yeah, like, I don't know how you people don't have a problem with that. Like, oh, but they're trying to help the homeless, really, because it seems they're trying to help the illegal you know, immigrants and, you know, the children coming across the border way more than they're trying to help their own people, like, at all. I mean, literally, 83.3333333, forever three, 83 in the third days, we're already, like, pretty much there. Like whatever, to, what's today? Let's see. Yeah, we're there. 13th? Oh, yeah. We're well beyond 83 days. Right to, yeah, actually right there. Like, so as of tomorrow, they're going to spend more on that than they did on their own citizens. And the homeless problem, which has gotten worse since COVID and all that started because of, you know, loss of wages and all kinds of things. Um, Like they're spending more on people that aren't citizens over people that are citizens. And there's some people I've argued with. They're like, oh, well, they're homeless. They probably brought it on themselves. Yeah, yeah, there's some that do. There's some that want to stay that way. But there's a lot of them. Like, let's just go with the veterans. They got all, you know, their heads are just gone. They're all messed up upstairs. The VA is useless. Their family leaves them. And there they are on the streets. Because they're not getting any help. And that's why they're there. Like, it's a real thing. It's a real problem. Lots and lots of homeless veterans. That were overseas fighting, you know, a war that yeah you know, wasn't theirs. They went and did it. Now they're all messed up in the head. The VA is garbage in more places than it's not. It was getting slightly better, at least my care around here. And my options was getting a little better, but it's just such such garbage. And their help, like their their priorities, have nothing to do with any U.S. citizen at all. It's all about illegal, 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 illegals. Like, just like New York, they're trying to give, like, 
1.1 billion dollars to illegal immigrants in the state like at a click of like up to fifteen thousand six hundred dollars in a check it's amazing because that's way more than you know citizens got or small businesses in the state of new york i mean they just struggle to get everything that's more than i got hell it took me forever just to get the first one for some reason i've been really good since then but like that's way more than any of us got at all. And we're actually citizens paying tax dollars into it. You know, and all this might, even though technically, you know, taxpayer dollars are gone well before we have a chance to, you know, spend anything on anything. This is just mesmerizing. And then even better on top of it, how I went over you know, uh, federal employees that have, you know, their children doing distance learning, you know, on the computer. Now uh, they're getting, you know, paid leave for up to what four months when they signed it, so they could cover the rest of the school year. It's a, you know, yeah, four. Here you go, paid leave, so they don't have to worry about it. When people that do have kids that have been doing it the whole time have had to, you know, try to find the struggle, the way to make ends meet, pay bills, work if they could work in their state and all that, while their kids were doing this, like they had to figure out how to balance it all out and do it. They didn't just get, you know. Four months paid vacation. See you later. Bye. Um, and now they're offering that to federal employees again if they take in the migrant children coming across the border. Like I so say, you help them out with their stupid problem and you'll get four months paid leave. It's funny how, you know, again, there's another great thing, another convenience to be a federal employee. All well, the rest of everyone can suffer. Because they don't give a damn about you. They never have. They never will. And they just keep proving it more and more every day. Because they just keep doing stuff like this. It's all about helping the migrants, helping the migrants, helping the federal employees who haven't missed a paycheck. But here you can keep getting paid and not have to do anything if your kid has online learning, if you're taking migrant children, like all of that. You don't see that happen, like offering that for regular folk. You don't. Please argue with me. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, the only people I get taken care of right now has been, like, them, politicians, across the board, not picking on one side or the other, except for AOC, because, hell, she's talking about reparations for migrant families separated at the border under Trump. So they get reparations, too, apparently. She's talked about doing that, even though, you know, they're getting separated still now. <laughs> well... And the ones that aren't, you know, until they cover everything up and make sure everyone is who they say they are, I mean, they're just coming alone out of cyclocrit. So don't worry. I remember when they were doing it under Obama and Biden, just saying. But except for her, this is really, that's just her being dumb. She's not a good legislature. There's recent polls that prove that, that she's just garbage. But anyway, like they took care of themselves and the federal employees while everyone else that actually needed help and money any kind of assistance because they literally couldn't go do anything it couldn't work at all by the state regulations on everything are screwed like the legals and the politicians and the federal employees were taken care of during all this and getting better care than their own people even some of you lefties that are listening here it's kind of got to make sense to you a lot of the stuff i say doesn't make sense but they're spending that much money on that compared to us the federal employees finding another way where they can go home well and get paid. Well, normal citizens didn't get that option. They just got screwed. And then I saw how unemployment worked for most people I knew in many different states. It was a joke. It's kind of pathetic. Terrifyingly bad. Yeah, we'll go with that. It was not magically delicious. But no one seems to see that until we fix that problem. Like, I mean, it's going to keep going. We're your taxpayer dollars, even though they're already gone, go to everything else. And generations coming, like when I'm long gone, are going to be dealing with horrific inflation rates and all that just to pay all this off because they don't care. It's a once in a generation thing. Yeah, because you spend this much money, when there's not going to be a generation like left because there's not going to be a country left. And you'll be long dead before that happens. Just throwing it out there. Another thing to throw it out there, just a quick one, because I never understood this, like the whole vaccine thing, right? I mean, there's a poll said 40% of Marines turned down getting said vaccine. Like they have the right to do that. We all do. 
I mean, Stelter, you know, Brian Stelter, CNN, love the guy. No, I don't, but he's one of the biggest spewers of garbage. But going after, you know, just of course, he has to go right after Fox anchors, which I'm guessing means he went after Tucker because they should be best. They should go bowling together. But uh, for not, you know, and all them people on the right in general, though, for not sharing vaccine selfies or getting them on air, like all that is is just politicizing everything. There's no purpose to it. Like to go, hey, look, got it. Stick. Like there's no point to it at all. Because they are just badgering people who aren't doing it. Not what happened to my body, my choice. Like, you know, all that. People have rights. If I want to get it, I want to get it. I'm not getting it. I have my reasons. Mostly I have no comorbidities. You know, no pre-existing. It's not overweight. Don't have lung issues or any of that stuff. I mean, my stuff's all bone and ligaments because I treat myself like a crash test dummy. And I don't leave like ever. I've been out of the house three times in the last month, if not more. Just timing wise and all that. I mean, like between this, the other show, the animals, like I just don't go out. Groceries and stuff come to me. You know, like, well, I'm not getting it. Everyone has the right choice. We shouldn't have to like go and brag about it or like share pictures of you getting it or, you know, your vaccination card. Like, like that's great on you, but if you want to do that, but people shouldn't get butchered if they don't want to get it. People shouldn't get talked to like they're stupid because they don't want to get it. People shouldn't be stereotyping people like, you know, Jen Psaki saying that, you know, they reached out to NASCAR. CMT and deadliest catch to try to get you know the conservative base and to put more PSAs out there for people to get vaccinated. Hate to break it to you right now in my situation. I'm in the uh that like 99 plus percentile that I'm gonna be fine if I catch it. And I'm gonna be miserable for a little bit, if that, and then I'll have the antibodies. Boom, done. It's like all those other people there. Like in that age, like, but Stereotype of people to throw those PSAs out there to get the conservative base is ridiculous. Stelter and all those people say, you know, condemning people for not sharing their, you know, pictures of them doing it or their vaccination card or doing it on air is stupid. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, yeah. I swear just a few months ago during debates and stuff, they said if Trump told you to get it and it was, you know, that they wouldn't do it. But the scientists said it was okay they do it, but I mean, the scientists were the ones saying it the whole entire time because Trump isn't the one making the meds, but like that happened. It did. Like, we're just, this is just the new political game. Like, did you get vaccinated? Did you not get vaccinated? If you don't get it, you're just a terrible, miserable person who's endangering the world. Like, yeah, you get it. Like, do you see all the side effects and stuff? And the weird things that are happening? I don't want a chance being one of those weird things. I never get the flu shot either. You know, I might not go out much, but I'm still outside. You know, I go on walks. I still go see, you know, I see people every once in a while. There's germs. It's a big, bad world. I don't use hand sanitizer. I use any of that stuff. And I wash my hands a lot, but between animals, reptiles, all kinds of stuff, you know, try to keep my hands nice and clean so I don't spread stuff anyway. But like, why are we just butchering people like over it? Like, let them get it. Let them not get it. If you're healthy, not overweight, no pre-existing conditions, I mean, you don't think you need it, don't get it. You know, like we shouldn't force people to do it. What happened, again, my body, my choice. What the hell happened to that? Like, it's amazing how like, it's okay for one thing, but then yeah, suddenly it turns into this and you're a monster and you have no choice and you need vaccine passports to go places and stuff, which is just unconstitutional, breaks so many constitutional rights and it's just ridiculous. And by the way, they're not 100% effective. You can still get it. It's only good for like six months. So, I mean, like, sorry. If you get it, you can, the shot, you could still get sick and you need to get another one in six months. Well, I haven't gotten sick in this long and I don't go around enough people and in enough bad places that, you know, I feel pretty good, but I shouldn't get chastised for it. I beg someone to do it. Like legit beg, please, someone be that dumb. Make my day.
And now after we're done with, I have to get into the small thing. My personal thing, might as well as we're here. Um, the people on the audio only version, they got it. So, I mean, here's one. I never liked ding dong ditching. Never did it when I was a kid. Yeah, I just figured, like, why would I set people's dogs off and all that? Now, now I have dogs. Yesterday, while I was sitting here, just minding my own business, I actually got ding dong ditched. Dogs went off. Everything bipolar, just chaos, loudness, all kinds of stuff. And the person ding dong ditched me was driving a really newer, shiny white Infinity, which is still blowing my mind. And they left a thing of craft singles at my door. One, who the hell ding dong ditches? Two, if you're gonna do it, leave real cheese. Don't use processed cheese product, which is what it says on there. So it's not even technically cheese. Like, come on, man. If you're gonna like ding dong ditch someone and leave something stupid, leave like a block of white cheddar, some good Irish cheddar. What happened to people leaving, you know, smear off ices on people's doorsteps? I mean, what the hell? And then I got ding dong ditch, all hell broke loose over a thing of processed cheese that I could buy like 7 million pounds of and it still costs less than like one lug nut on the car that dropped it off and ran like hell. Like, so don't do that. Don't do that to people. That's just stupid. Like, all across the board, stupid, but man, stupid. Still irritated today because I just it doesn't make any sense at all. Never will. Can't change it, couldn't rearrange it, and there it was. So that being said, I appreciate the listen. Appreciate you watching. Again, share it out, get more people on it, comment, tell me what you think. Um, videos are on Facebook, YouTube, and Rumble for now. Till I get the other thing. Yeah, I'm trying to get them so they're all in one place if we can get away from all this social media. Um the audio is all over the place. The audio version on a uh, Spotify, Anchor, Breaker, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, Google Podcast, and apparently Overcast. Didn't even tell me it was on there, but apparently it's on there. Don't even know what it is, but so saw someone listen to it, so it's got to be there. Um, yeah, tell me what you think. Tell me if you want to come on. Do us, you know, sit down with me. We can figure that out too. It's really actually a lot easier than I thought. But let me know what you think. Again, be nice to each other, be kind to each other. Have some, you know, have some good conversations, read some stuff, educate yourself, do something good. Just don't be miserable to each other. Unless they're really that stupid, then sorry. It's excused. But that being said, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I appreciate you giving me any time. And until tomorrow, my friends, peace.